find a better deal. I dare you. <laughs> it's kind of, kind of close. Where is the bearings? Yeah. So it'll take a little bit of um, okay. thrust load. It's not going to be a constant like this. Exactly. Mm -hmm. There's nowhere for that shaft to... These things have been around yeah. the block a few times. They have everything here. It's like a supermarket that just sells metals. Yeah, I mean, that's the front. Your mom's the front. It's upside down. You're upside down. Okay, flip it. Flip it the other way. Flip it this way. Flip, flip, it. flip it this way? Hold on, hold on. I got it. Okay. <laughs> Want more bolts? Huh? You need some nuts too? You need more nuts? Alexa? Pause. I couldn't find any enabled video skills that can do that. Pause. Stop. Pause. <laughs> Pause. <laughs> Alexa. Pause. <laughs> do you need a trailer, bro? Thanks for being my friend. Uh, Zach, we're live. Hi there, folks. I want to talk to you today about how frustrating it can be uh, you're working with a, a hole saw, and how many times you try and drill a hole, and you gotta switch it up, and you got all these other the hole saws, and they're all different, and you, got, you don't know which size uh, screw uh, uh, drills to put on there, and then you need a special tool to undo them, and you can't, and you just keep on twisting, and nothing happens, and you just you, you end up tossing on the ground and, and going in for the night. Well, look no further. Ferd, look no further. This is the third hole saw assortment, and let me tell you, it sure does make life easy. Everything is ready to go. You got all your assortment, everything together in one box. No more fumbling and bumbling in your drawers, on your floors. What you do is you just take their bit, screw it on there like this. It's got this little spring mechanism right there. You see that? That's it. That's all you do. You're done. Click. Click. You want a different one? That's the wrong size. And you stick it on there. You tighten it up. Click. You're done. That should do it. Ow. <laughs> <laughs> Create the heavy seat. Oh, Where, where's the other bear? You had it last. No, you did. You didn't remember where no, it was before. Well, in the bolt aisle, I gave it to you after I'm ready for the flange. No, you didn't. Yeah. Did you set it down? No. I have the caliper. I had both of them. We only have one box here. Sounds like you got a problem there, Paul. I don't, see the other one. I don't know where it is. No, it is. We didn't lose it, did we? I didn't lose it. Maybe you did. 
We only have so much budget left. Uh, Maybe you should be more responsible. Is that, is that it? Zach, when did you put this here? Huh? Oh, I did it right now when I was over here the whole time. Empty. I almost just tripped on this bearing box and killed myself. You should throw your trash away. I wish you did. April, can you put the camera down and help me? But wouldn't it make more sense to be able to lock it up first? Not just to be sure? Just to, just, to, just to measure twice and cut once, as you woodworkers like to say? No. No? No, you, you measure once, and if you cut it wrong, you weld it back you together. You can't glue this back together, Paul. <laughs> That's you, can't, welding you can't just epoxy this back together. That's why welding is easy. So we are exactly four inches and two marks less than five inches. Three and seven eighths. Yeah. <laughs> What's the way the outer diameter is? It looks like, I don't know, maybe more, I'd say two marks less than, than two inches. You mean like more than seven eighths? Yeah, two marks. Hey Zach. Oh. This is 30 inches, it's supposed to be two foot six. How many marks is that? Go to the left. You sure that's straight? You sure you're straight? No. <laughs> Me neither. <laughs> Ready, tiny, lucky, Lucy. You're Lucy. <laughs> No. I don't think the Sharpies are stylists. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you put the camera down and stop being such a smart ass? <laughs> so see, it, see on the end of that. What? On the end of that, we're going to have a. You left here six months ago. Months ago. They're not. They're like chip. Just a bit. Logo. 
I've been fabricating for about six, seven years now, and let me tell you, there ain't nothing that boils my oil. You out there listening to your music, you got your, your haggard going, and, and, and then all of a sudden, BAM! You drop something heavy on your toes. Look no further. Introducing the Carolina Elm Steel Toe Boots. Problem solved. Precision over efficiency, Paul. Efficiency over precision. No, then you end up being less efficient. Zach Herbert, you end up being less efficient because you have to do everything twice because you screwed it up the first time because you weren't precise enough. Zach Herbert holds more like Zach Herbert. Hurt, hurt your toes. <laughs> Keep up the good work, Aubrey. More passion this time. <laughs> Zach grinds off the mill scale, take 125. It's in my leg. <laughs> Where'd you put the tape measure, Zach? Yeah. Paul, what are you doing, man? <laughs> I was Get out of here. here. Get out of here. It was okay. Oh my god. You want me to fix it? No. <laughs> it's only gonna support a couple thousand pounds. Three inches. Will give us the length of the column. 67.5. Add six inches for six inches of extra clearance. 73.5. Convert six feet to months. <laughs> Sixty dollars is fifty-four euros and fifty-four cents. Fifty-four euros and fifty cents. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you got that wrong in so many ways. <laughs> <laughs> 
How's this look, Zach? That's pretty plump from here. You get a better angle. Yeah, that's good. It's perfect. I just, need, I just need a tack weld one, one more point, maybe? Dude. How am it? I supposed to get a... How am I supposed to weld that? Tape measure. That's my hat. The hair is just blowing in my eyes. Oh, oh, ah. my ear. <laughs> I can smell my ear burning. See it a fair? You <laughs> <laughs> like the Marines? You get a towel or something? That's all we're gonna be able to do is do pull ups on this. <laughs> yeah, we just made. That's all we did. We made a pull up bar in a trailer. <laughs> a mobile pull up bar. A mobile over the air pull up bar. It's like eight, it's like two thousand dollars. <laughs> <laughs> we made a two thousand dollar pull up bar. <laughs> Learn more at work, bitch. <laughs> Look what you did. It's because you moved it. Look what you did, Paul. You moved it. Well, you're supposed to... Don't film that. Turn that off. You're supposed to clamp it to the thing that we're trying to... Turn that off. You're supposed to clamp it to the thing we're trying to move, not the thing that's already where it is. Jerk it around. Look what you did. Turn that off. What are you trying to make this turn? Now see if you can move. That's actually really good. Yeah, so yeah, so instead of because if you do this, you go in, you just go straight across. But if you kinda kinda work into your existing pedal a little bit, you can pull it down. That looks really good. I got that on camera. Oh <laughs> Dad's proud of me. <laughs> You're gonna have to spin it. Right there might shoot like a party. <laughs> That's gotta be like at least 10 pounds. Another one, another one. Look out, look out. Another one. What's that? Keep it going. This is like a piece of fitness equipment, man. Mm. It is. You ever get tired of listening to your bonehead shop mates and just wish you could take Hank Jr. with work to you? Well, now you can. Introducing the ISO Tunes uh, free. These are Bluetooth. That's the wrong one. That's the wrong one. It's right here. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, ISO Tunes free Bluetooth hearing protection. Now, these hook up wirelessly uh, to your phone. You can listen to whatever you want all day, and you don't have to listen to what you, should, what you don't want to listen to the rest of the day. And, and also, also they got these for you motor scooter riders out there. They got these ISO Tunes Extras. These are great on the motor scooter. They, they, they clip together like this. They turn themselves off automatically, and you don't have to worry about losing them or wind, wind blowing them off. You just dangle them there, and, and they complement the bolo tie. If any of these tickles your fancy, I'll tell you what, I got a special promotional code right now, ZHF, which you can use it, it, hurry up, they're going fast. You can use Z, code ZHF for $10 off any one of these IsoTunes purchases at IsoTunes.com. We, we only got seven left. Six. We got five left. Still got five. Can I do this one? Sure. You're not uh, forgetting anything, are you? Does it look good? Yeah. Alright. Yeah, we planned this all out so it would fit. What do you think?
think? You proud? You happy with that? That's pretty square. I'm Zach. I'm right. Uh, Amy, I thought you said that they had eyelets here. Yeah, you could probably forge one of those in like five, ten minutes. Whoa, whoa, look at this tough guy over here. I think it'll stop. That's good. Yeah, I like it. Holy shit. Yeah. We shouldn't have fired our camera person. Whatever her name is. <laughs> I forgot. We should hire her back so she can bring us lunch tomorrow. That's scary. <laughs> WD-40 Trigger Pro, right where you need it, when you need it. Available at your local retailers or Amazon, if you ain't yellow. It's 
So we have this piece of wood here, another mirror going here. I'll put a pair of these on each one of these cross members. So we'll just have to drill some holes and screw up like there and there. Okay. And then the wood will get attached down into that. <laughs> I got that on film. What just happened? He just about died. I like have to hot wire the table saw to get it started. <laughs> it was funny yesterday. I couldn't get it to start. I kicked it and it turned on. <laughs> All right. Who are you looking for? Uh, box of fruit. I'm excited. Get rid of some of this ugly metal. It's probably the only part of the project that doesn't. That thing hits me in the face and done. So that's at 15 relative to 46. Well, just 15. We can just, as long as we have one accurate data point. Three, two, one. Oh, it was so close. Like 
like a serial killer. <laughs> you just look socially awkward. <laughs> so I look like myself. <laughs> this would camouflage to your couch at home. <laughs> True. Good luck finding something that's gonna look bad on me. Hillary, Hillary Clinton, now you don't. <laughs> I wouldn't even have to wear pants. <laughs> Who has these proportions? <laughs> Who does? Flailing arm too bad. Those exact proportions. <laughs> like, I could poo bear this. <laughs> it doesn't, doesn't quite look bad enough. I don't think there's anything that I want bad in either. I don't hate it. <laughs> <laughs> I can't get my... I have to dislocate my thumb. It's like something. Just to look down. It's so bright. If you're talking, I can't hear you over your Juicy deals, check this out. Ow! <laughs> Heavens to Betsy, these deals are nuts. Aren't you glad you didn't miss these deals? Did you get it? Did you get it? The melon. You get the melon? Get the melon. Did you get the melon? Get the melon. Did you get the melon? Not him. Melon. Did you get the melon? It's right over there. Melon. Did you get the melon? You tired of hunted dudes? Well, hunted don't miss out on this one. Holy moly. <laughs> Are those just pieces of it? Sweetest deals north of the Mason Dixon line. <laughs> Holy moly. Ooh. Let us serve you! <laughs> With a smile. Heard some new deals just sprouted up. Go. Kablam! Kablam it! Sweet baby Jesus! Oh my golly! Oh, 
Oh, that one's so high. You ready to squash the competition? Bye.